we have this article courtesy of Resident Advisor. Resident Advisor, Advisor, I'm always saying it wrong. Um, this says a closer look at the first major refurb of fabric in 22 years. We visited the London Club to discuss the project with director Cameron Leslie and designer Giorgio Badal Badal Lachi. The interesting thing about fabric is that they've had to do so much in order to kind of revamp their reputation, right? They've had to do so, so much to get people to care about that club again. And I don't know why it is, maybe because of the deaths that they had, you know, a few years ago, uh, maybe because of the times they got shut down, maybe it's because of the overzealous, over aggressive security staff and just generally shitty patrons that attend the club. But it seems to have such a weird reputation. It seems to be one of the kind of places that people kind of maybe specifically go to and you only go there maybe if your Pacific nightclub or club night sorry is on but in terms of going out there on a regular Friday Saturday night people especially the friends or people that I know I hang around with they have they'll never mention going to a place like Fabric right it'd be the last place they're going to attend and it's a real shame it really is a real shame because it maybe has one of the best if not the best sound systems in London still they have one of the best list um kind of dj roster lineups in terms of people playing every weekend they have really good residents so it really should be a place that people should be feeling um pumped to go to on weekends it's a fairly centralish location in london good transport links to most places to can get back to get back home to and stuff um but they're having to do so much so much kind of p positive PR and press and they have to do a whole physical refurb to get people to kind of get re get enthusiastic about the club again and it seems like people just have either moved on or they just don't really care I don't really know what's going on but let's continue it says here London Club Fabric recently underwent its first major re re refurb since opening 1999 so it was much needed um, like many venues in the UK Fabric shut its doors in March 2020 and didn't open them again in July 2021 this interim period provided a lot of setbacks also chicken costs for in cuts to staff but it also provided an unexpected opportunity to dramatically revamp the club for the first time in 22 years the refurb a collaborative effort spearheaded by the Fabric um, director da -da -da, and began at the end of 2020 changes range from the subtle tweaks to complete overhauls with the work done all over the club including the foyer the toilets room one room three vip mezzanine in the sunken bar the iconic beds with replaced with the chain swinging seats interesting that ra are kind of producing the video too is that some sort of weird um you know you know what what do you think or some weird payola that they're doing behind the scenes they're just kind of a relationship they have with the platform itself i'm not too sure but anyway let's watch the video and see what the refurbs look like Look the sound of it. When we sat down after Boris's infamous don't go to pubs and clubs speech back in March last year, we collectively said to ourselves that whatever is ahead, we are not going to be the same venue when we reopen. Okay, that's fair. So it was something they were thinking about, innit, for a while. It does look good though, it's got to be said naturally been added on over sort of 22 years of operation have actually masked a lot of what is an amazing space but the raw beauty of that space the starting point for Giorgio was getting back to this beautiful space and areas that people won't have seen before but have existed there and really using the sort of characteristics of the architecture within the building The sunken bar between room two and room one has always been a, a very special <coughs> place. There was a tinge of sadness knowing that our famous beds were going to disappear. But I think uh, we're really, really pleased with... You know, it does look flipping amazing though. It looks really, really good. Thinking about what was happening here, like when this building was conceived in the beginning of 1900s as a meat storage, you know, so having butchers, curtains, and chains that are holding the carcasses. Bringing those materials into this area, it seemed like a good approach. Oof, look at that dance floor. I'm actually meant to be revisiting it in September for the first time in a while, so it would be nice to actually see it with my own eyes, touch and feel the place. Room two. Possibly a space that is the most noticeable difference. No, that's brilliant. I had in man. mind for quite a while the opportunity to move the DJ booth, which was obviously up on the wing. 
the DJ was, we always felt, was slightly more disconnected from the room in comparison to something like Room One, where you know they're really right in the bear pit. And that was the intention behind us centralising the space and giving the room a lot more balance and symmetry to it. Nice. If you talk to any operator in our world, this last sort of 16 months, um, you know, there's been some really tough phases where, you know, pre-vaccine, where you were kind of questioning whether clubs could ever exist again. I wouldn't have wanted to go through this period again, but I suppose that introspective journey that we've had to go along had some value to it, and there is, you know, genuine opportunity to, um, to be able to take stock of what it is to run a venue in 2021 and beyond and actually hopefully build it in the shape that you mean to to take it forward yeah fair play man again it looks pretty decent um check out some pictures as well here uh lights look amazing great space feel looks quite cool but again it's just that's the thing with clubs, isn't it? You realise when you go to other countries and you go to places where they take club culture really seriously, it's not really about what it looks like, isn't it? It's just the untangibles that play a lot, that play a big role into whether or not your club's going to be successful. doesn't matter how bad sound, sound system, of course, matters. Don't get me wrong. Take that back. Uh, the architecture, the interior doesn't really matter that much. It's more so the people, isn't it? It's the community, which is a bit cringy thing to say it's a scene and whatnot but it is that what is really kind of defines your space like there's club nights at the moment we have in london that you know they host their things in forests and they have people coming out in their hundreds paying up to 20 pound per ticket to go and stand in the middle of a forest right it's not you know there's no door or anything and they're still going because they they care about that community there are people you know attending places that you know are freaky and whatnot and paying crazy prices and wearing ridiculous outfits to go to them as well because of the community and it doesn't matter where they host those things so a lot of it is really the people that go in there so you would hope that some in some way shape or form in some kind of odd way that because of this refurb and because of this new lease of life and they've got a new approach to bookings and whatnot that might help in terms of kind of refreshing the clientele but for whatever reason over the year fabric has just consistently stayed pretty inconsistent in terms of the quality of nights that you go out there like it's just what it's just one of those places where i can't just trust going to on a night out randomly do you know what I mean where there's other places I just trust them I just trust their programming I trust their space I trust the people that go there I trust the security the bar staff to just give me a good night regardless of when I get there if I don't know who's playing do you know what I mean but Fabric you just can't take that chance and it's just too much of a chance to take of course because you know it's one of you know the more expensive places to go out in London it's obviously in the centre of town which is good but also it means you're having to travel to the centre of town so if you do go there it's a commitment you can't exactly go anywhere else there's not a lot of places in London and unfortunately that stay open past you know 4 a.m or whatnot that you can go to or that will let you in even after 4 a.m so they're stuck in a weird place isn't it i definitely understand the need to refurb and act and feel as if like you've got a new space and you're kind of offering something new to the customers because again and you know, for as much as people say about the desire of people to go out yes there is some but you're also losing a lot of tourists who do account for i'd imagine a high number of you know ticket and pint sales in the club or drink sales whatnot so without them you're having to then convince people who live here to go out more often than they probably would have to make up for the difference of the people that aren't arriving because of tourism so i understand the place that they caught and they kind of had to do this in order to kind of make sure people get really excited or get excited again about the club but for whatever reason it seems to be in this weird space but you know wish them nothing for the best at least they're trying that's something you like to see most clubs wouldn't even bother doing this they'll just close it down and rebrand it as another thing at least they're still trying to retweak what they have still trying to fight the good fight whilst also appealing to the mainstream heads you know what i mean because i've always kind of respected that kind of approach to fabric the idea that they can appeal to the mixed mag crew and the resident advisor crew which is completely different and also the underground people that kind of you know hate everything that you know these places do in the first place i think that's definitely a good approach obviously see with their collaboration they did with crossbreed and stuff they're trying to venture out and kind of link up with different sort of club promoters and what club promoters here yeah, whatever they may be in order to offer something different for their clientele and hopefully this redesign works but so far i won't know for myself until i go visit and hopefully i visit very soon and i can give you guys a review on that one